Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. We are now gathered together. Let us begin our holy celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We celebrate today, my dear brothers and sisters, our devotion to the most sacred heart of Jesus. In order for us to become worthy of the holy celebration, let us pause for a while, and in silence, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. 
Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Clothe us, Lord God, with the virtues of the heart of your Son, and set us aflame with his love, that conformed to his image, we may merit a share in eternal redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Nahum. See, upon the mountains there advances the bearer of good news, announcing peace. Celebrate your feast, O Judah. Fulfill your vows. For nevermore shall you be invaded by the scoundrel. He is completely destroyed. The Lord will restore the vine of Jacob, the pride of Israel. Though ravagers have ravaged them and ruined the tendrils. Woe to the bloody city, all lies, full of plunder, whose looting never stops. The crack of the whip, the rambling sounds of wheels, horses a gallop, chariots bounding, cavalry charging, the flame of the sword, the flash of the spear, the man is slain, the heaping corpses, the endless bodies to stumble upon. I will cast filth upon you, disgrace you, and put you to shame, till everyone who sees you runs from you, saying, Nineveh is destroyed. Who can pity her? Where can one find any to console her? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is I who deal death and give life. It is I who deal death and give life. Close at hand is the day of their disaster, and their doom is rushing upon them. Surely the Lord shall do justice for his people. On his servants he shall have pity. It is I who deal death and give life. Learn then that I, I alone, am God, and there is no God besides me. It is I who bring both death and life, I who inflict wounds and heal them. It is I who deal death and give life. I will sharpen my flashing sword, and my hand shall lay hold of my quiver. With vengeance, I will repay my foes and requite those who hate me. It is I who deal death and give life. Please stand. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man will come with his angels in his Father's glory, and then he will repay each according to his conduct. Amen, I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death until they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Dear brothers and sisters, we now have begun the month of August. And here in the Philippines, especially in most schools, we celebrate it as the Buwan ng Wika. And one literature which I find significant in my high school days was about the short story written by Pedro Dandan. I do not know if you heard about the story which entitled My Buhay Sa Looban. It's like, uh, say, uh, to translate it in English, it's like saying, there is life inside. The story is about a young boy who was 13 years old and at this very young age he considered that he was very satisfied and happy in the place he grew. His playmates called him King and he was very popular among them. However, his father who was a writer, decided that they transferred to another place because the place where Popoy was, the Looban, was very noisy. And the father planned that when they transferred, they were going to have a better life. To make the story short, it was difficult for Popoy to leave his place because he thought that getting away from that place is like dying to himself because he would lose everything. He would no longer be called king he would no longer be seeing his playmates, his world in the looban, in the inside, would end. But one of the moral of the story is that sometimes we need to entrust ourselves to our parents because their plan is always for the best of us. At binanggit ko itong maikling kwentong ito because our gospel today speaks about the demand of being a follower of Jesus. Most of us are very, very familiar of this verse. Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. It speaks about the demand of discipleship 
our own willingness to follow Jesus, which for most people would think would entail suffering. Kaya nga dun sa mga pumapasok ng seminaryo, or even those who wanted to enter the convent, they usually quote this verse because sometimes they confuse what it means to sacrifice to the meaning of suffering. Sometimes they think that they are the same. But when we learn how to sacrifice, we sacrifice because we have a goal for a greater life. And denying ourselves, denying oneself becomes meaningful if you are looking after for something better. Going back to the story of Popoy, had he only understood that his father had better plans, probably Popoy would not cry when he was leaving their place. What he needed was the confidence to the plan of his father. And if we're going to relate it also in our faith, that denial of our own self, to deny oneself, teaches us more of learning to sacrifice than to suffer. You would realize that life becomes happier and more fulfilling when it is given up for greater meaning. However, the challenge in us is that we are always afraid of change. Sometimes we avoid change because we are already accustomed to our usual way of life. Contento na tayo sa simpleng buhay, sa trabaho natin, sa mga kaibigan natin. But there are moments in our life that if we want to experience more, sometimes we have to sacrifice our usual way of life for more experiences. And perhaps that is also the message of Jesus when he was teaching the people who were listening to him that to deny, to deny oneself is a requirement of following him. However, my dear brothers and sisters, in following Jesus, even though you may experience some degree of suffering, the reward is greater because you share the life of Christ. And this is easily accepted by those people who have a lot of experiences of sacrifice. Yung mga magulang na ibinibigay ang kaya nila para sa kanilang mga anak. Yung mga mag-asawa na handang gawin ang lahat para sa kinabukasan ng kanilang pamilya. 
and sometimes even our own priorities also require us of our own sacrifices if we want to achieve them. And Jesus Christ, if we really want to follow him, we might experience some sufferings, but we would consider it a sacrifice because we want to follow him. So we ask the Lord that he gives us wisdom to understand his plans for us so that whatever difficulty they may entail, we would endure them because we want to follow him. Please stand. By self-denial, we take up the cross each day, walking in the footsteps of our Master. Let us pray for others and so cast off the selfishness which keeps us apart from God. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That our Pope and bishops may carry the cross of pastoral care and responsibility with selfless sacrifice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who accepted the burden of public office may grow in the love of God through their responsible, sincere, and honest exercise of their duties, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may give wholehearted support in upholding the truth and in opposing the subtle influences of evil, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that those who are victims of oppression may finally gain justice, freedom, and peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who suffered and died in faith may gain their heavenly reward, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, receive the prayers of a pilgrim people seeking to discover your will by walking in the footsteps of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, Father of mercies, who because of the great love with which you, have, you loved us, with untold goodness gave us your only begotten Son, grant, we pray, that being perfectly united with him, we may offer you worthy homage through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high on the cross, he gave himself up for us with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from his pierced side the wellspring of the church's sacraments, so that won over to the open heart of the Savior, all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At a Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. 
I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Made partakers in your sacrament of charity, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that we may be conformed to Christ on earth and merit to be co-heirs of his glory in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.